Okay. Warmth spell. No. So, with this one I usually put stuff here, but I don't think that's actually the best. I think it's probably better that I just put it there. Combo this for raw damage. Okay, that's that's decent coverage. Now do we get one more? Just to catch D's. And then we have a decent safe spot. Drag it up here. There we go. This should work. And also, thank you, Fadeblade, for the 300 bits. This game is fun to sell to watch. It's a fun game. It's uh, it's definitely one of those that, like, uh, breaks my brain a little. But, yeah, I mean, those, that sort of thing's kind of acceptable. Uh, let's see. Oh, this is the last This is the last round anyway, so I don't need to worry about anything. Yeah. It's just so nice there's no caches here. So... Even though the reward is less, doing trial mode is so much nicer for me. Because I can just load it up and be like, hey, three skill points and some shadow cores. Which, for the part part of the game I'm at, that's actually, that's pretty good. Uh, let's see, so 500 shadow, <laughs> everything is so expensive. Oh, let's see, well, did we get it? Woo, that's a good one. 1% chance the gem bomb blast summon extra wasps, extra damage to reavers, swarmlings, and extra mana for starting waves early. I should probably do that more often, but I'm usually rarely ready for it. I'm usually also generally... Eh, no, no, no. That's really good. This one's real good. Do we upgrade it? Because, yeah, just extra 10% damage to Reavers and Swarmlings probably helps a lot. It's gonna bankrupt me on Shadow Gems, but, eh, well... Does Endurance Mode give a ton of cores later in? I believe it does. I believe, like, once you really, really can hit, hit Equilibrium on this game, it gets stupid easy. Ah. Uh, wait. Oh. Right. I can duplicate these things. But it's not so bad. Combo those together. We're just we're just gonna go for for beefy. For a second I straight up just didn't even see the frost gem there, and I was just like, what the hell am I supposed to do? Where but I don't have any gems! And the answer is like, oh okay. Yeah, we got this. I mean, honestly, to some small degree, I just have to wait. This thing will more or less just kill everything for me, and I don't, I don't have to, just, I just don't have to deal. Could upgrade it. Could dupe it. Yeah, we're just gonna block another one over here. 
I don't think it really needs the upgrade. It's only a couple of these suckers even getting it through at this point. I got it. Such a smidgy bit of EXP. It's really the Shadow Cores, I think, that are going to be the most useful. I'll have to see what Shadow Core gain is from later areas. Ooh. Pricey. See, we don't really need bolts. Resonance. We definitely need some of these things. Uh, do I want to keep doing trial mode? I'm going to alternate. Uh, let's see. Go back to this one. I'm going to... I have no idea how I'm going to do this one. Because no matter what, I I foresee myself spending an absolute goddamn fortune on walls. And I don't like that. His walls are expensive. Uh, now that does not block. It looks like it blocks. What do you mean blocking? Yeah, so we're we're just gonna use heavy mazing. I'm gonna I'm gonna skip all frills. This is just going to be nothing but mazes. Put that there. Upgrade that. Alright, this is working a bit better. Okay, we've got enough room for another tower. Oh yeah, there was there was a little gooner there. Fortunately, these towers are a little bit more expensive. I was banking on, but that's fine. Now it is time for Maze Hell. Probably could have done that just a smidge better, but like, eh. Okay. Yeah, I don't need amplifiers. I don't even need lanterns. Might have helped. Probably would have. Let's see. Now it's probably better that I just upgrade these suckers. Just go big. Toss bolt at the biggins. They'll die eventually. And just bonk even more damage. Okay. Little bits getting through. But this is like right at the end. Oh, ow. A lot of little guys while I'm distracted by the by the giants.
Damn it. That got real close up until the end. Giant showed up and it's like, pfft. kill a monster with shots blinking to the monster attacking your orb that would otherwise destroy your orb. Huh. Fair enough. Okay. I think I can get that one. I think I just need to not... Um... Not flub. You know what? That's worse. That is that is notably notably worse. Okay. Cause the thing is we want We want them to spend the most amount of time around my towers. So I need a tower there, tower here, and then another tower like here-ish. Cause last time I had them do this like weird dumb loop, and that was outside of That was outside of the Optimum Maze. Okay, that'll have to do. Let's probably get the second gem first before I do too much else. Yeah, because I was going to get clever and have them take a really, really long path around that. But that's not actually worth it. Oh, let's see. Another tower right there. We'll get the third tower, then I'll then I'll go back to ma mazing. That's better. Really make him go the long way around. And then mostly just focus on... my best defense. Maybe consider a lantern. Okay. Maybe. Yeah, let's kill the apparition if we can. They're always worth it. I just gotta remember to actually hit those. Okay. Upgrade. Yeah, don't forget to upgrade, though. Things will get bad if I, if I forget that rule. Yeah, because we're dealing with most of the swarmers. It's, it's these biggins that are actually the biggest worry. are all super beefy. Ooh, ah. Underestimated it a little bit. Okay, we get some shadow cores. Let's go back a little bit. Yeah, so we... I, I think we do need a lantern in one of those. Oh, 
Uh, let's see. Maybe, maybe a fourth tower. I just didn't have quite enough oomph for it. You know, silly answer. We're not using that. We're not using either of these. Let's just take them out. All right. Let's get a lantern. Question. I'm going to alternate the angling. But yeah, if I'm not going to be using one of those one of those things I could just ignore them. Um of works. Okay, now I've got four. Yeah, in retrospect, if I have to do this one more time, we line all of them up and get an amplifier in there. Maybe. Because I could do that. Okay, so yeah, let's let's get all these up to a reasonable level. Dirtier. And we want to move this here. What about the higher tier? Oh, I see. The. The higher value. Let's see. Okay. Can I have that one focus on giants? Maybe focusing on giants wasn't a good idea. But yeah, the problem is... I think the lantern's no good. I think the lantern's a neat idea, but the problem is we're not actually getting swamped by the little guys. We're actually getting swamped by a bunch of Reavers. And so, I don't think I need lanterns as much. Okay, so yeah, let's... Let's lose the lanterns. Let's... Let's flip. go all in on that. Let's see. So I'm still doing this one. Because I'm thinking 
Last time, had them go like this. I'm just gonna do... Tower. I'm just gonna put the walls down. Okay. I'm gonna do this. And we're gonna get an amp. Probably should have moved them forward at least one more. I guess what we could do. There we go. Let's see, do we wanna... It's probably better to just have that be cheaper. Uh, is that cheaper? No, it's not, actually. But yeah, we're, we're just going to get an amp in here, and if we need more immediate firepower, we get one more regular tower. Otherwise, we just bail on amps in general and just say, like, eh. Because the amp is certainly adding damage. Yeah, it's got this slow ratio down. I don't really know. Otherwise, yeah, we just save up for, uh... We, we just use all that extra mana for pure starting mana, nothing more. Oh, you know what? Maybe it's the attack speed. Eh, even then the attack speed bonus is only fairly minor. Because, yeah, at best we're just tickling those guys, which is an issue. I'm just going to wait here. I'm not going to even touch my mana. Yeah, just too much. So let's let's nix the whole amp thing. I, I just don't think it does enough damage. We need to get past a certain value. So let's, let's just go for madcap bonus starting mana. Either that or go bolt spell. Hmm. That might that might be okay. But yeah, I I think amps work better elsewhere. But for the cost, I'd I'd be better off just getting another tower down or uh funding an, a proper upgrade. Oops. Yeah, this is, oops, did that wrong. This is working better when I just had the three separate towers entirely. Okay. I should probably actually upgrade some of these. I was just kind of sitting back and being like, yeah, this is probably going to work better.
And the answer is, I got complacent and forgot what I was doing. Okay, there we go. That should, that should work well. Let's see, throw a trap in my maze. It's not gonna do anything. Traps, traps are... I mean, I guess the one trap I could do... Would be like that. That would probably work. Gotta remember to actually do what I'm doing. It would certainly slow a couple of things down. Because, yeah, the normal slow on these things is pretty bad. Okay. Oh. But I saw a giant coming in. I guess I did not. Well, this seems to be working better. Oh, there's the there's the giants. But that's usually what I say up until I get to this point. That's the other thing I could do is just manage my waves a little bit better. I mean, I think we killed the giants? Okay. It's gonna plunk that. Do we just save? Yeah, let's let's just not expend further. Nope. Ugh, best one so far, but wasn't quite there. Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's just do other missions for a little while. I just did that one. Let's just do some of these. Did I do this one? I don't even remember. Hi. This is murky. So unfortunately, we got a bunch of barricades. Gem bombs and wasps. Ugh, cleansing beacon, healing beacon. Ugh. Uh God, why? This is awful. Um, hmm. Honestly, Unleash the gem bombs. These are immune to gem bombs. So I didn't I didn't even get that luxury. Okay, got that. So, I'm effectively probably not breaking this. Let's up the damage. Okay, no, I'm going to break this. So, I, I'm just going to use this purple ge gem as a uh, 
Structure Blaster. Huh. That'll also break the beacons there. Interesting point. Okay, I'm gonna just put down a second blocker. Okay, shoot with bolt three times to open. Got it. I was still gonna I was still gonna ways though, but yeah, there is a golden chest there. I almost missed it. Okay, it's open, a lot of mana, a lot of other stuff. Cool. Just keep blasting structures. I don't necessarily know if the healing beacon needs to be destroyed, but we're going to go for it. It's an inconvenience and it, its presence offends me. Okay, so far so good. Healing beacon, healing beacon is done, and we're good. All right, let's pop those. And then now that we've done that, a bunch of extra walls that I could that I can easily afford so uh yeah why not okay save mana go for broke go for broke this is much stronger than last time Now it's just Tweedle Slow and other other guy. Okay. I don't see other any other chests, so I think we're good to go. Purple is focused on structures, not bugs. Except for it doesn't have to deal with armor, which makes a huge difference in this game. Extra damage to giants and some shadow cores. Eh. 